Welcome back to CurrentHades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Making Voting More Democratic, Desirability Conditions for Voting Systems. In this video, we will be looking at the Condorcet Win Criterion. Quite a difficult criterion to meet. Let's see. The Condorcet method will not always produce a winner, but if it does, that winner beats all other candidates in one-on-one -on -one matchups. Think about that. That candidate beats everyone else when placed just one-on-one -on -one with that other candidate. The Condorcet win criterion requires that if there is a Condorcet winner, winner, if there is one candidate that when they face off with any other candidate, they always win, then that is the overall winner. Remember, if this criterion is not met, that means that whatever winner we picked actually loses to someone else in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. The Condorcet win criterion puts no restrictions when there is no Condorcet winner. Is this desirable? Well, often there's no Condorcet winner. But when there is, that means that candidate is preferred to every other candidate in one-on-one -on -one matchups. It seems very intuitive that such a candidate should be our choice, since they beat every other candidate. The wild thing is, even though this is a very, very intuitive criterion, other than Condorcet's method itself, none of our voting systems will meet it. Below is an example that demonstrates this. A through K are voters. Yes, there's a lot, but we need it to prove all of them. And L through O are candidates. All of the other methods, assuming D is the dictator, will choose N as the winner. Yet M is in fact a Condorcet winner. M will beat every single other candidate in one-on-one -on -one matchups. Yet all of our other methods decide that N is the best choice. Let's prove it. If you want to prove it on your own, I highly suggest it for practice. But if not, let's prove it. So N wins first past the posts. Four votes to three to three to one. That one's pretty simple. Since no one has a majority, N just has a plurality, instant runoff is going to eliminate L first. In the second round of our instant runoff, N does not have a majority still, or no one has a majority still, so we eliminate O and M because they're tied with three first place votes each. This leaves N as the only candidate to win. For Buckland voting, no one has a majority in the first round, so we look at the first two lines of voters. Now, both M and N do have a majority, but N has a larger majority, eight votes to seven, so N wins again. With a board account, L has nine points, O has 13 points, M has 20 points, and N has 23 points. This means that, once again, N is the winner. And finally, as we said that D was our dictator, that means that D's first choice, N, wins. This is wild. All of the big systems we've looked at have picked N as our winner. And yet, M is the Condorcet winner. M will beat not only N, but every single other candidate in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Let's take a look. Even though N has won every other method, M will be our Condorcet winner. Let's see. M beats O. 7 to 4, with A, B, D, H, I, J, and K all ranking M above O. M is also going to beat L 7 to 4, with D, E, F, H, G, H, I, and J all ranking M above L. And finally, and most importantly, M will complete the Condorcet win by beating N barely 6 to 5, with six voters ranking M over N. The crazy thing is, M beats every single candidate, including N, the candidate that everyone else picked one-on-one. -on -one. And yet, all the other voting systems picked N instead of M. It is possible for other voting systems to fulfill the Condorcet win criterion. Actually, one of the voting systems I mentioned in the last video, sequential pairwise voting will, but clearly it didn't fulfill the Pareto condition, so it'll have some problems as well. But as we'll see in Arrows and Possibility Theorem, there will inevitably 
B, one of the important criteria that we have that whatever voting system we pick will fail to satisfy. So we got a lot more red on the board here with only the Condorcet method passing the Condorcet win criterion. And unfortunately, it's not going to get better. So next up, we have the infamous independence of irrelevant alternatives criterion, followed, of course, by non-dictatorship. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.